honesty is our policy here. And that's where the New York Times goes off the rails in the honesty department. Yesterday, the Times ombudsman, a guy named Clark Hoyt, who's supposed to keep the paper honest, actually wrote an article disputing the Times is a liberal enterprise. Sure, and Bill Maher is a Franciscan. Eighty percent of the columnists at the New York Times are committed left-wingers, and if you saw the nasty piece on Sidney McCain in the Times this past weekend, please send it to Mr. Hoyt. At the end of his amazing column, claiming that Times has been fair in its election coverage, Hoyt writes, quote, Robert Lichter released a study concluding that Obama was faring worse than McCain on television news. Bill O'Reilly of Fox News, who had previously praised Lichter's work as proving that the media was liberal, was incensed and rejected the study. Like a lot of news consumers, Riley appears to have a hard time with information that does not fit his view of the world." Unquote. Now that's just flat out false. I was not even close to being incensed. My objection to the study was not ideological, it was based on the method used. Skeptical questions were considered negative coverage by Dr. Lichter. Since Obama was getting dramatically more attention than McCain during the primaries, of course Obama's negatives would be higher just on questions alone, and that is what I told Lichter. What I'm worried about is that your study goes out in, 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 in the media, and that the left-wing media, which actively is working to get Barack Obama elected, can say, see, we told you we were being fair. They're not. Your study can be used to distort the true picture, is what I'm saying. Now, Talking Points believes Hoyt's never heard that interview with Robert Lichter. We don't believe he listens to the radio factor. We suspect he got his information from Think Progress, a far-left website, because the only place Lichter was interviewed, uh, the interview was discussed, I should say, was on that website. Of course, Hoyt did not tell his readers anything about using a far-left website as a primary source, and that is blatantly dishonest, sir. The New York Times strikes again. It's no wonder the paper's in so much trouble. Um, and when you have the New York Times, which your ombudsman, I mean the ombudsman, this is what drives me crazy. This guy is supposed to keep this paper honest, and he's using a far-left website as a primary source. I mean, that's just flat-out corrupt. Right.